morning everyone good morning good morning hey welcome all you new folks welcome back everybody it's officially halloween week <laughs> can you tell yeah. anyway you guys i thought i would just dress halloweeny this week with some fun things and um we're finishing and wrapping up our little halloween special so make sure you guys watch it hope it hope you guys enjoy it it's cute and it's fun anyway you guys how the heck is everybody? Our temperature is finally cooling off, you guys. It's only supposed to be in the 80s today. This morning it was 71. We opened up the windows. We opened up the sliding doors, let that air flow through so that we could get that nice, cool uh, breath of fresh air coming through here. They seeded, they cut our lawns down and then rototilled them and seeded them for winter rye. So my sinuses are a little bit more stuffy and I think Harry's are too. Anyway, you guys, yesterday was my daughter's birthday, Felicia, and we met mom and Marty and Harry, excuse me, same guy, Marty, Harry, Harry, Marty, Harry. Long story short, his name is Harry Martell. When he was little, they called him Marty. Everybody that knows him and went to school with him when he was younger, call him Marty, including my family. Harry, when he got older and got into business and all of that good stuff. So you'll hear me say Harry or Marty, same guy. Harry, Marty, Harry. Anyway, um, we went to barbecues and we ordered the family feast. And the feast consists of a platter, literally, of meat. It's St. Louis ribs, it's pulled pork, it's biscuits beef brisket and chicken and we asked them not to put any sauce on it bring the sauce on the side but they do use dry seasoning and rubs um, you get your choice of sides so we get the cold slaw which has chopped pecans on top they say that it does not have any sugar in it because I ask but um, it's got a lot of their mayonnaise in it uh, so I'm sure it's got soy canola oil mayonnaise um, we ordered a side of the broccolini. It tasted and looked very oily. Um, so we had that. Uh, Felicia and Brad ate the corn muffins that came with everything, and we had a great time. But it's hard. We can gauge our plate, but it's hard to get macros and write down all of those things. So we don't have a chart of what we ate yesterday because that's what we had yesterday. So with that, um, if some of you are new here today here he had a uh, oral tooth he had an extraction one of his molars was removed he has tennis elbow although he or is that the golf elbow i can't remember which one the doctor it's said both it even though he doesn't golf or play tennis he is on the computer so that's been i got him. mouse elbow mouse elbow you know mouse as in computer mouse anyway he's taking antibiotics penicillin for his mouth he's taking um prednisone for a few days to help with the inflammation in his elbow so it's really playing yeah, with my it, weight loss it really is so with that i want to share with you our um weight from yesterday's eating out and all of the meds and everything else because remember you guys everything that you eat the day before sometimes two days prior any medicine any over-the-counter medication sleep lack of sleep stress all those things can affect your weight and your water weight and retention. So with that, I want to share our weight this morning. We both went up. Now I had the coleslaw. Harry had the broccolini. Yeah. I went up eight tenths of a pound. Harry went up. Woo! He went up. But he's on anti-inflammatories. He's on prednisone. And you guys, if anybody has ever taken prednisone, which is a corticosteroid, you hold water. End of story. So we're not upset with this. I had that coleslaw and I was hungry yesterday, even though I had the meat and everything. Um, so we had some pork rinds when we came home. That's another thing we had. Anyway, you guys just wanted to share this and get that out to you guys because I got to set the oven real quick for 400 degrees because it is 11.52 and we have fasted and I'm gonna make drop biscuits again and sausage and gravy. So I'm gonna come back with that a little later, but let's go to the big board. Yeah, so yesterday was kind of a wild day because it was, was my kid's birthday. Yeah. My daughter's birthday. 
So we went out and had a good time. I also had a drink, though. Oh, yes, that's right. We had a whiskey and soda. We had a whiskey and soda because Felicia, you know, we all wanted to have a drink together. Celebration drink. Yeah, celebration drink. No. But we kept a keto. One little drink a piece. And um, pretty much, I, I just really kind of wrote down Bob, Bobby Q's here. And brisket, broccolini, chicken, coleslaw. Had one drink, and it was a birthday. And then we came home and we had the ice cream. We only had one scoop of ice cream. That's right. We had the eggnog ice cream. And I should put down uh, my Pork meds. Brains. I should put my meds down here. Yeah, instead. you should. Because we really don't know what what that would be. You know, what, over this way, babe. What the uh, calories and the fat and the protein and all that stuff would be. You know, because you don't know what they cooked it with. Right. So obviously they cooked it with some. I'm sure they don't use butter. Stuff. I'm sure it's that fake. Yeah fake butter right. made with canola oil that all the restaurants use. I'm just, I'm positive of it. So we're just going to have to, you know, bring it back down. Buckle up today. Yeah. Buckle today, up. Today is a, like back to just basic, basic keto stuff today. Right. But you asked me for biscuits and gravy. Yeah. So here, why don't you bring this back to me? Anyway, you guys, we're making the biscuits, the keto chow biscuits and gravy. Thank you, Essie. Shane, thank you again for giving me the uh, gift certificate because the savory chicken soup is what I bought with it, and that's what we're making today. Now, I agree with Nan. Nan thought it was uh, very salty, and I, say, I stated that when I made the drop biscuits and the keto chow before, but I think for it, it's because the sausage is, is salty as well. So I bought... You guys, I spent 20 minutes in the store reading every single label of the raw sausages over in the meat area. And then over where the bacon and the cooked breakfast sausages are, I read all the Jimmy Dean, I read all the Johnsonville, I read all that stuff. And I swear, MSG, corn syrup, sugar, all these things are in it. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go back over to the meat department and grab some regular ground pork and make my season it to taste so that we can have good ingredients in right. our drop biscuits and gravy so anyway that's what i did so you guys are going to see me season to taste it uh today uh some of you on our facebook page and if you guys would like to join harry will put a link it's uh basically loving it on keto with wendy fans and they put a recipe, a recipe, a recipe on the page for the sausage that they put their own ingredients into. They got that ground pork, and then they made it into sausage and made the patties. And I thank you for that information because I'm going to use it today to kind of make my own flavored uh, sausage concoction to make my own biscuits and gravy. So you guys come back and see Biscuits and Gravy Wendy's Way. So we'll see everybody in a little bit. Okay, you guys, I'm making the Keto Chow Drop Biscuits again. And I am measuring in grams. I think it's very important when you are doing baked goods. Breads, biscuits, anything made with any kind of flour that you measure in grams, it's more precise. And I think you have to follow that in order for them to turn out. So... I am adding into this pan, into this bowl right here. I have everything measured. So why don't you come over, Harry? I've got a half of a cup of almond flour, or 59 grams. So that's going into the bowl. I have got one teaspoon of baking powder. That also is going into the pan. I'm going to take one packet of the uh, savory chicken keto chow soup, one packet, and let me get some scissors. You want to mix your um, dry ingredients first. Sorry, Harry. Dry ingredients first. Give that a nice whisk stir. Get the baking soda. Our baking powder, pardon me, one teaspoon baking powder or five grams, one serving chicken soup. Mix the flour, keto chow, and baking powder together, which is what I've done. There, it's all nice and mixed. So I have got, uh, key, I have got two tablespoons of cor 
cold butter, which is 28.5 grams, measured it precisely, getting it into here. And now what you want to do is I always wear a glove because I can't stand that feel. You want to take your butter and you want to mash it around and cut your butter into your flour. So I just do this because you want it nice and flaky. Mash that butter up between your fingers. You can feel the butter. So it's all nice incorporated. See that's a big old butter lump so I rub it between my hands. Don't be in a hurry. Make sure it's mixed because that's what will make it fluffy, you guys. Flaky. Flaky, not mashed biscuits is what we want. So the butter has to be cold because you want it to pill up in the, see how it's getting little, little teeny pill lumpies in the butter. is causing that flour to stick together into little balls. And don't feel any. Doesn't look like it. So now I'm going to take the egg white, four egg whites, and I'm beating them, get them all nice and foamy, and I'm pouring that into my batter, batch. Now I'm going to mix it nicely with my hands, and I've got a silicon mat I've got a silicone mat here, so what I'm doing is just gently mixing this egg white into the batter, incorporating it into the batter without smashing it, just kind of stirring it in. Use your hands, that way you can grab the batter and just make sure you're just mixing in, grab it from the bottom just getting that flour just mixed but not smashing it kind of get like divided into fists and then i just do a drop biscuit just evenly distribute the biscuit dough and i take my biscuit i want a little bit more surface on my biscuits to sop up my gravy mixture. So I'm kind of just making them, shaping them the way I want to. I'm gonna take this and just scrape this out. Get every last morsel of the biscuit dough. Let's see, and go to the one that looks the littlest. Put the biscuits in the oven now. And then we'll move on to the gravy. We'll come back in just a sec. Let's get the biscuits into the oven. I set the timer for 10 minutes and we'll come back and check it. Now I'm getting my sausage ready. Harry, don't turn off the camera. So you guys, I have 90% lean, 10% fat ground pork. Like I said, I wanted just plain old ground pork and to make my own sausage taste because I'm tired of eating pork sausage that has a bunch of unnecessary ingredients in it that could potentially stall my water, it stall our weight loss. So if I can get this open. Man. There we go. There's my sausage. And the only ingredients in this Cut this up, get it cooked. Now because it is lean, I'm gonna add a little bit of, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of lard to that. What do you think? Well, if it's lean, yeah. Excuse me. Got my lard. I'm gonna add just a tablespoon of lard to that because this is so lean plus it's going to stick to my pan less you hope i hope you're right i hope you don't see it is it's sticking yeah it's because of the lard you just put in there now it's not sticking 
No, because I did put fat in. Is that bacon? Yes, bacon is lard. That's my right bacon that we just had mm -hmm. earlier in the month. It's grease. While this is cooking down and rendering down into sausage, I am going to add some of my own seasonings. Which are what? To make my own sausage flavors. So the first thing I'm going to add is turkey rub. And I have to do this quickly here. I can't focus okay. on stuff because it's got to go in go. while it's cooking. Go. This is a half. I'm going to put a whole teaspoon. This is a half a teaspoon because I like turkey rub seasoning. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of poultry seasoning. Okay. I'm going to add just a tad bit of cumin. Not a lot. Less than a half a cup of cumin. Half a cup? I mean half of a teaspoon. Less. I'm going to add a teaspoon of garlic powder because I love it. I'm going to add some parsley, long parsley. Parsley. So you're going to add some parsley. I'm just going to add some parsley. Now I'm going to add some smoked paprika. I want that smoky flavor. Pa smoked paprika is delicious. So I'm going to give it a nice generous shake of that. And I'm going to stir this up really good. See, there's no fat coming off of this. And when you make gravy, you've got to have fat. So I'm going to add another tablespoon of lard. Normally, your sausage would be giving off more fat. And yes, it's not an exact measurement. I'm not worried. I love fat. It's not going to hurt me. It's not going to kick me out of ketosis. But it is going to add flavor to this, like a breakfast sausage would. Ooh, smell that. Smell oh, that yeah. smoke. Oh, yeah. So the oh, dog. Yeah. Smell that turkey rub, chicken rub. Poultry seasoning. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn this down to low now. And I'm going to add and mix my keto chow. Oh, this is going. Okay. Um, here's my half cup. Warm water. Want to turn the water on, Karen? There's nothing in here. Honey, that's fine. Is it hot? Does it feel good? Yeah, it's warm, but I'll let it go for a few no, minutes. No, don't. Don't, don't. That's fine. It just needs to be warm. Oh. Warm is all it needs to be. So I'm putting my savory keto chow, chicken soup. Which Notice one? I did not put any salt in my sausage. That's because there is plenty of salt, taste, and flavor in this. So half a cup of heavy whipping cream afterwards. So I need to stir in one and a half cups of water. So that'd be three half cups. One, two, three. Can you put this back over there, Harry? So we go. Get my keto chow all ready to go here. Now, here's something I am going to do different than I did last time. I like more gravy. I like more gravy. So in addition to my heavy whipping cream, which is half a cup, which is going right here in this cup here, if you can see it. I am also going to add half a cup of the unsweetened, un, 
unsweetened plain almond milk. You get this, we get this by the case at Costco. Costco. So I am adding that. Now, what this says to do is add your savory keto chow to your sausage. Keto chow soup, right? Keto chow savory soup, yes indeed. Get it all out. Oops, biscuits are almost done. So we gotta take time to take a look at those real quick. Here, Harry. Put that behind you. Let me stir this. I'm not worried, my stove tends to undercook rather than overcook. It says to add your cream. And in this case, my almond milk mixture to the mix. Be careful, this is glass. Can you put this over behind you? And look at that nice fat coming out, you guys. Now while this is just sitting here blending a little bit, I'm gonna check on my biscuits. Can, careful, don't move behind you. You've got scaffolding behind you. You guys, my kitchen's got so much stuff in it. Let me look at these biscuits. I say it can go for one more minute. One more minute. Now, here's the deal. Now that I have everything in here and incorporated, now I can start doing the taste test and fine tune it if I think I need it. But the first thing I'm gonna do is add pepper because the recipe doesn't call for it and we love our pepper in our biscuits and gravy. It used to be white gravy, white pepper gravy with sausage in it growing up. So I'm getting some pepper on. Let's see what this tastes like. Feel if there's any crunchies in the bottom, any sausage bits, you wanna pull that up into your gravy, you guys. And look, that almond milk did not hurt the consistency of this at all. Now it does say to add water. One and a half cups of warm water, but I'm only gonna add, I already added that, didn't I? Turn that off. I added that. Oh, pepper flakes, optional. And yes, we like pepper flakes. So I'm gonna put some pepper flakes. Oh yeah, good on my tooth. I'm sorry. I forgot about your tooth. It's all right. I only put a little bit. I don't care. We like Louisiana hot sauce on our gravies too. Yeah, man. Okay, now comes. I want to put some of that on. The taste test. But let me check my biscuits, you guys. Excuse me, Harry. Watch your feet behind you, babe. Mm -hmm. I don't want to burn you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, those look beautiful. Oh, those feel beautiful. Look at those. Aren't they gorgeous, you guys? Yes, indeed. So we've got that. This is blending nicely. I'm going to taste it. And? What's it need? Pretty much nothing. Really? Yeah, here, I'm gonna have you taste it. And yes, you guys, we're eating off the same spoon. It's just Harry and I here. If I were a professional chef and there were more people, I would use a clean spoon. Yes, I would, but I'm not now because I don't have to. Harry, tell me, does it need a little bit of Redmond's seasoning? I don't know, it tastes pretty good. Don't you think? Yeah. I think it's, I think it's done. I think the almond milk tames, and I think because our pork does not have the salts that they use in sausage, um, it dies down that saltiness just enough. Um, you can always add salt, but you can't take salt away very easy, you guys. Using that almond milk in here, look at the consistency. I think that made a really nice gravy, look. Really nice gravy. I'm very pleased. Okay, you guys, we'll come back when I have this all plated. And we'll share you guys with 
with the finished product in just a minute. A. Do you want two servings? Okay. Yes. I'm gonna cut this Darn in half. Darn straight. I'm gonna cut the biscuit in half so we get more surface area for our gravy. Oh, look at that, you guys. Here we go into that. Mmm. I know, that look good. Look at that. These made lovely biscuits. And you guys, these biscuits have so much flavor made with the chicken uh, savory soup mix. Oh, yeah. They really do. So we had last. Oh, it's so good. Look at that. Woo hoo. Grab two more. Watch your toes. Watch your toes. Ooh, those are nice. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. I think I'm liking the flavor of my biscuits made with ground pork as opposed to making it with sausage. I, I really do. Okay, Harry, this is your plate. Don't be afraid. I'm not going to be afraid. You get There's six servings in here. Adding that extra um, almond flour gives you a little bit more of the milky gravy type mm -hmm. texture. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Nice. This is the gravy I'm used to. This is the kind of gravy I grew up with. This white sausage gravy with um, heavy duty pepper on there. Mm -hmm. And you guys, I'm telling you, Louisiana hot sauce. If you guys are from the South, you put a little bit of Tabasco or Louisiana hot sauce on yours. So I'm gonna put some on mine. It's up to Harry whether he wants yes. some. Put it on there. I'll just put a little bit. Nope, put it on there. Put it on there, okay. Does that look good? A little more. Well, let's take a peeky seat here. Okay, you guys, this is our sausage and gravy southern style Wendy's way. And you guys, we're going to take a taste test real quick. Let Harry have a taste test before we say good night or good morning before we eat. Harry, I want you to have a taste. You got to smell it. You can't just eat it. Ooh, it smells really good. Okay. Oh, that's really good. You like that? Oh, yeah. Don't you think that's a doing it, it's cleaner making your the own. Last you made. Right, because of the sausage. Remember, we couldn't find a good sausage, and mm -hmm. so I'm just going to start making my own. Um, get Make it with ground pork, and then just building it with the flavors that we like. Well, it wasn't that tough. No, it was super easy. Okay, mm -hmm. no, you can't eat it. You have to taste me. I think Harry wants to eat now. You think? Yes. I'm going to have a little taste. I'm going to have it with my Louisiana hot sauce on it. Oops. Got it on my hands. I think that's better. Yeah. That other sausage wasn't breakfast sausage. It was too salty. This is absolutely beautiful. I did not add any salt. The lard we used came from our bacon, which is very salty. Adding that little bit extra um, almond milk didn't change the flavor at all, but gave us more white gravy. So you guys, you know what that means? You gotta go eat breakfast now. And it is already 12.30, after 12.30, and we're just now breaking our fast. Yes, indeed. Gotta eat now, folks. Mm. That was so good. Mm. Okay, you guys. Hey, I'm sorry that today is such a short day. We started eating very late. Those biscuits are still with us. I did make some of the um, Keto Chow Root Beer Float. I made two packages, and I ran out of cream. I only had six ounces, and I didn't add any extra butter. So I made enough for 400 calorie uh, ice cream for Harry and 400 calorie for me and you guys that's all we're having and we're gonna have it later 
in the day, probably closer to five. We have been filming all day. It's a mad dash to the finish so that we can bring that cute little Halloween film to everybody in time for Halloween. So I'm going to um, stop it here. And I'm sorry that we did biscuits and gravy only today, you guys. But we are so full, aren't you, Harry? Oh, yeah. I mean, those things really, really, really keep you full. And I love the way I did just plain minced pork and added my own seasoning. Yeah, it worked out really well. I think it worked out so much better than the other way that we did, but you guys do for you. If you guys can have sausage, it's easy, it's quick, and it doesn't bother you with the ingredients, go ahead and do that. But we did ours Wendy's way. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for joining us today. If you guys like what you see, please like. Share this with your loved ones and any any of your friends that are thinking about doing keto. Especially and yesterday's. Yes. Uh, the ch chewing the, the talk, fat. Chewing the fat. Yeah. You guys give us a thumbs up so it breaks the algorithm and pulls us up so other people can see us as well. Hey, you guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. How do you like my pumpkin pants? Oh, and my yes. crazy socks. Spooky. Spooky and crazy socks. Yep.